Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tristan and I'm a college and lifestyle related content. So today I'm gonna be doing a video on how I got into UCLA, UCI, UCSB, and UCSD. So I did already do an in-depth stats video on how I got into Stanford, so that has all of my stats there super clear, super broke down. So today I'm only going to briefly go through my stats and extracurriculars and focus more on the essays. If you do want to see my stats in more in depth, then go ahead and check out that video. It's called How I Got Into Stanford and I will link it down in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's get started. So, um, 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 um. So first of all, for my standardized testing scores, I reported a 1300 flat and I got a 700 in evidence-based reading slash writing and I got a 600 in the math. For my essay scores, I got a seven in reading, five in analysis, and an eight in writing for this specific SAT. As far as AP tests goes, I did take six AP tests. I got three fives, two fours, and then one two. If you wanna see what specific tests I took and then which scores I got for which tests, you can go ahead and look at my How I Got Into Stanford video, which again is linked down below. Link down below. Um, I tried recording this video like twice, but the video thing cut out, so I flipped it to front camera. I think it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a little blurry, so sorry about that, but it did not want to cooperate with me, so this is where we're at right now. <laughs> Moving on to my extracurriculars, I did report more extracurriculars on my UC app because it allowed me to report more than it did on my Common app. So I can do a more in-depth separate video on my extracurriculars if that is wanted, but for now I'm just going to go through them super quickly. So the first thing that I reported was that I am the founding CEO of the nonprofit Youth for Border Aid. Next, I volunteered at Sharp Hospital for four years and became a junior leader. Next, I was on a varsity dance team. I am president of the Red Cross Club at my school. I participated in a program called African American Leaders for Tomorrow. I interned at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology and I participated in a program called Young Legislators. And I also interned in the office of Dr. Shirley Weber, who is the assembly member for my district. I participated in a program called Link Crew and I'm treasurer for the Students for Civil Liberties Club in my school. I volunteer in special education classrooms and I play piano. Those were the activities that I reported. And then for my honors, I reported that I was selected for the Rotary Youth Leadership Award. I am on the principal's honor roll and I am a lifetime member of the California Scholarship Federation, which is CSF. And I received a community recognition award. So that is it for my activities and my awards. So now let's get into the big thing that I wanted to talk about today. I will be reading two of my personal insight essays. I will link all of them down below in a Google document. So you can look at those if you want to see all of them. But I'm just going to read two. And then after I read them, I'm going to talk about how I wrote them and how you can write a good college essay. So for my application, my stats were relatively strong. The only thing that was really lacking was my SAT score. So I can't necessarily say that I think that my essays carried me, but I do think that they had a significant impact on my application and it is what made me more personable and more likable as an applicant. So let's get started. Okay, so for the first essay that I'm gonna read, the prompt was, think about an academic subject that inspires you. Describe how you have furthered this interest inside and or outside the classroom. When I was seven years old, my mom was diagnosed with a degenerative disease, multiple sclerosis. It was equally fascinating and horrifying to hear that within her own body, her T lymphocytes were attacking the healthy cells around her spinal cord's myelin sheath and brain causing various health effects that worsen over time. As a young child, I couldn't begin to understand this terminology, which is precisely why I made it my goal to learn as much as possible about this insidious disease attacking my mom's body. Over time, my interest in science has expanded beyond just the intent to learn about multiple sclerosis, but grew into a passion for learning about science. 
To gain access about the science-driven world, I began volunteering at Sharp Hospital during my freshman year, and I have continued to volunteer weekly, becoming a junior leader within the hospital. After being selected as one of three juniors at my school to participate in the Rotary Youth Leadership Award Camp, I was able to form a connection with an incredible mentor who worked as a scientific researcher. After asking a maraud of questions, she encouraged me to look at different scientific researchers' profiles at institutions in my area and find one I would be passionate about working with. As a result of reaching out, over this past summer, I was able to intern at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology with Dr. Amnon Altman. I was ecstatic to become an intern at the Institute and take part in groundbreaking research related to cancer and immunology. My time spent at the lab was invaluable and truly cemented my interest in scientific research. Although the causes of autoimmune diseases like my mom's are unknown and currently incurable, I believe that with enough optimism, curiosity, and courage, these diseases can be cured within my lifetime, and I aim to contribute to the effort. Oof. Okay, so this is my first essay. So... I did write all my Stanford essays first and then I kind of reworked them into fitting the UC prompts that I wanted to answer. So for this one, this is very similar to one of the Stanford supplemental essays that I wrote, but I did incorporate just a few different things in there. Okay, the next one that I'm gonna read is, beyond what has already been shared in your application, what do you believe makes you stand out as a strong candidate for admissions to the University of California? So I chose this prompt because I feel like it was just the most open-ended, vague prompt that there was. It gives you a lot of freedom to talk about whatever it is that you want. So it kind of allows you to state your case as to why they should accept you, pretty much. It's literally asking you, why are you, why should you stand out, and why should we choose you? So I will read that one right now. As a result of my mixed heritage, being of African American and Iranian descent, I've gained an intimate understanding of the minority experience and take great pride in my heritage. I vividly recall being in the third grade, my school principal bending down to eye level, smiling as she told me my classmate called me the N-word simply because he liked me and could only express it by teasing me. Needless to say, I'm extremely interested in matters regarding civics and social justice. Events of recent months, such as the harsh malpractice towards occupants of the migrant caravan during its detainment in Tijuana, repeatedly drew my attention and stoked my desire to help. Having lived in San Diego for the past seven years, this issue is both close to my heart and geographically near, happening very close to my own home. Coming from a historically marginalized group, I have learned that injustice thrives when good people remain silent. With the help of various friends and mentors, I founded Youth for Border Aid, an all-volunteer nonprofit organization led by the youth. We have organized donation drives at various high schools around San Diego, with all items going to shelters in Tijuana. Starting a nonprofit was a realm completely unknown to me. However, my perseverance driven by passion allowed me to seek out and connect with various teens around San Diego, with a shared desire to make a difference in our community. I also reached out and partnered with the nonprofit Border Angels, meeting even more compassionate people who have inspired me. Having seen both justice and its opposite firsthand now, I am eager and capable to work toward the former. I know that if my ancestors overcame the Middle Passage and the Jim Crow era, somehow producing my existence, I owe it to them at the very least to strive to help others. The drive that I have for bettering both my local and national community makes me a strong candidate, as I am committed to positively contributing to the world around me and remaining optimistic despite seemingly insurmountable obstacles. So, I really took that essay prompt as an opportunity to kind of argue my case for why I should be selected to attend their school. So, now for how to write a good college essay, specifically a good personal insight question. So I had already written my Stanford essays by now. So I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to write already, but I underwent the same process that I did for writing my Stanford essays. And what I did 
which really, really helped me was I wrote down all of the activities that I had participated in. And you kind of have to do this anyways for the activities portion of the application. So I listed everything out. And then while I had that on one side, on the other side, I had all eight of the personal insight essay prompts. So there are eight personal insight questions and you can only respond to four and all of them have the same word cap. As far as the essays go for the personal insight questions, I decided that it was really important for me to target certain activities that had a lot of meaning and then elaborate on them in my essay. So I narrowed down the all of the activities that I had taken part in into a list of maybe like four to five. And then I narrowed down the essay prompts for the insight questions. And I tried to fit which activity I wanted and what theme I wanted into the different essays. So after doing that, I just sat down and wrote them. And some of them I realized would fit better in a different prompt. So I switched them around a little bit. And then eventually I was happy with the final result. So in order to do this, I'd recommend giving yourself some extra time. So don't do it last minute which seems like a given, but also I get it, like senior year is tough and sometimes things just, you lose track and you have to do it late. So if you can plan ahead, try and do it ahead, but if not, don't worry, don't stress, you can still do it. And I think that it's important to remain very genuine and true to who you are in your essays. Colleges can kind of smell cap. So if you're not being sincere, admissions officers will most likely be able to tell. So try and choose themes and or activities that really matter to you and something that you feel like you can write about in a very genuine way. And beyond this, the UC application, you can apply to all of the UCs through it. You can select which ones you want to apply to. But my major goal was UCLA. I really, really loved UCLA. So when applying to any school, you can look up their school website and look for their mission statement or whatever they have posted on there. And generally, you will find some of their core values. So I saw that UCLA's is optimism and I tried to incorporate that theme into my essays. I mentioned optimism a few times because I feel like that is who I am. Those values really fit my own. So I approached these essays differently than I did for Stanford. I really feel like the essays can be the difference between you and another applicant because in reality stats really do not have any personality they do not define who you are and the essays are what helps put a personality to your application so admissions officers are people they will have bias and you kind of just want them to like you and choose your application over another person's if it comes down to it so I hope that this video was helpful. Again, I will link my How I Got Into Stanford video down below if you guys want to see my stats more in depth. And then I will also link all of my UC essays as well if you want to look at the rest of them. There's only two more. I only applied to UCLA, UCSB, UCSD, and UCI for the UCs. And I did get into four out of four of them. So I feel very fortunate for that. It's crazy still. And I really feel like the essays are definitely to thank for that in part. So yeah, I would recommend trying hard on your essays. Hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more content. Bye.